welcome back to another vlog i'm still getting ready um i just thought that i would come on and talk to y'all real quick because i haven't talked to y'all yet this whole vlog pretty much but i am almost done getting ready oh no i just broke my lip liner okay so i'm almost done getting ready like i was saying um today i'm okay so I had every intention of making this vlog a weekly vlog, but somehow it's already Wednesday. I don't know how that happened. This is no longer going to be a weekly vlog. Do y'all consider weekly vlogs to be like literally Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday, like an entire week? Or do you consider a weekly vlog to be three or more days? Because I feel like there's a fine line between weekly vlogs and like just regular day in my life videos i feel like you can say a weekly vlog is three or more days in my opinion and then you start treading you know treading uh what am i trying to say tread treading waters i don't know but you kind of get to a tricky spot when you talk about days in my life now days in my life could be three or less either two to three days but the weekly vlogs start at three or more days in my opinion so yeah we'll just call it a weekly vlog welcome back to a weekly vlog y'all today's wednesday have a lot to catch y'all up on y'all i was down bad last sunday okay i don't know what happened i had a good week last week i didn't really record the weekend rolls around and I don't know what happened. I don't know if I ate something. I don't know what happened to me, but I got real sick on Sunday. I'm talking about like trigger warning, by the way, but I threw up like four times on Sunday. So something happened between Friday and Saturday. I don't know. And me throwing up is like a big deal because I never throw up. But Sunday, I threw up like four times. So yeah, I was down bad. I was sick. Okay, but Monday comes around, and I was intending on starting this vlog on Monday, but y'all, I was just recovering from Sunday. I don't know what was going on. Barely made it to work. Did not do any of my homework or anything for my classes. I went to work, came home, went to sleep. That was my Monday. And then yesterday, I attempted to start the vlog. I showed y'all my juice recipe that I made. I got some questions from... The other day, whenever I posted a picture of the green juice that I was drinking, I have perfected my green juice recipe. So, I wanted to show it to y'all because I got a question about like what the, what the ingredients were and what the exact measurements were. But I felt bad because I didn't really know. Because normally, whenever I make juice, I don't really follow a recipe. I just kind of grab whatever fruits and vegetables I think will go good together. So, let me show you my juice. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, I kind of lost track for a second, but it's, like I was saying, I made a juice last night and I wanted to show y'all like the exact measurements of everything that I made because I got a question about it on my stories. So I'm sorry if I'm saying the same thing twice, but I got a question about the, uh, the measurements and like I said, I never really do that. So I didn't know. So yesterday I made sure to make the juice again so that I could tell y'all exactly what I use to make this amount of juice which is like a I'm not exactly sure maybe two I don't know but anyway yeah let me tell you how much what I use to make this amount of juice I used six apples one cucumber one lemon a little baby piece of ginger just a little bit you can use more if you like but I just I'm a baby when it comes to ginger I don't like my drinks to be spicy but I do like the health benefits of ginger, so that's why I used it. And then I also used um, a whole pack of celery hearts. So I believe the celery hearts are like shorter. Like they were smaller than like regular celery. I threw away the bag, but it said celery hearts. So it wasn't just like a, a like the big stock of celery. But anyway, that's what I used to make this perfectly filled jar like literally perfect not even over the rim perfect amount of juice 
And this is like my little detox juice recipe. Y'all know I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to drop like 10 pounds before my 21st birthday, which is definitely doable because my birthday is in January. And I want to get back to the size that I was for my 20th birthday because y'all know for some reason this year I gained a lot of weight. I think it's because I started my, you know, my little office job and, you know, sedentary jobs where you're just sitting there. It can take a toll on you, especially if you're not working out. And I was definitely not working out that much. I just feel like I didn't need to. But obviously, I was wrong. I gained, like, from January to now, it's September. I gained, I gained, I want to say, like, 20 pounds. I don't want anybody to take offense to this. That's just the way that I feel about my body. I prefer to be smaller. I just think that it just looks better on me and I feel better being smaller. So I'm not trying to, like make anybody feel bad if that's not what you want saturday i went to go get my hair done so i do have a little fresh retie um i haven't braided my hair or anything since i got my hair done she did wash it so my hair is a little bit shrunken especially because i wore it in a bun yesterday but we do have the fresh retie y'all i actually want to go ahead and pack my lunch for work been trying to do right with my eating habits lately. I've been trying not to go to McDonald's as often. Restocked on some coconut water because I love coconut water. So for my salad, I got this uh, spinach harvest bowl from HEB. It has spinach, balsamic vinaigrette, feta cheese, um, pecans, apples, and dried cranberries. I don't know. This sounds good right now, but every time I actually get to my lunch break, I want to go to Jack in the Box, and I don't want to eat this. I got some fruit, so I'm going to take a banana with me to snack on. Because at my job, we have, um, my boss, like, buys us, like, snacks, basically. All kinds of snacks. Some of them are healthy. Some of them are not. Some of them are, like, donuts and stuff. So, I'm going to bring this. And then, also while I was at HEB, I got this, these navel oranges. No, not HEB, Whole Foods. I went to Whole Foods yesterday, too. So, I'm going to bring an orange with me. So, I'm just going to try to eat something light. I think what I'm going to do is go back to my intermittent fasting where I don't really eat anything in the mornings except for like either a tea or a juice or coconut water. And I'm going to eat like a light lunch and then a big dinner or like a heavy dinner. That's my plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. All these oranges look messed up. So for my juice, I think I'm going to wait and drink it when I get to work. So I'm just going to add this in here. Oh, and I also need a straw. So I have these little glass straws that I got from Amazon. Highly recommend these, y'all. I don't know why, but I have a problem with drinking things straight out the bottle. Like, it kind of disgusts me for some reason. I don't know why. Even though this is my glass, I know that it's clean. I just don't like putting my lips on, like, a jar. I don't know why. But, I don't know. It's just my thing, I guess. So, I'm going to bring this straw. Let me get a napkin. So, it is glass, so I don't want it to, like, be clanking up against all this stuff in here but i'm gonna bring this straw with me and this little lunch kit that i got by the way is from um i was about to say h-e-b marshall's oh it is the most perfect day outside i love it i hate that i have to go to work though so got my coconut water i got two actually so i got I'm going to drink this on my way, but 
Yeah. Um. Oh. So as the month of September is coming to an end, I am almost done with my. What is that noise? Okay. So as the month of September is coming to an end, y'all know one of my goals for this month was to read three books, and I did that. Well, almost. I'm almost done with this one. This is my third book. Instead of reading Honey and Spice, like the one that I showed y'all in my, I think, either my last vlog or the vlog before that. Whichever one where I went to Barnes & Noble and shopped. But I went out and got this one like a week ago or maybe two weeks ago. And I'm almost done with it. Well, not almost. I'm like a third way done with it. But I think that I can finish it this week. Um, I'm on chapter four of this book this is when women pray by td jakes i love this book so far y'all and it's actually been helping me a lot with reading my bible because y'all know if you watched my last vlog i got a new bible so that it can be kind of like easier for me to read because the new bible that i have has like a whole bunch of more a whole bunch of more am i okay the new Bible that I have has a whole lot more tools in it that I can use to kind of figure my way out. Figure, oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? The new Bible that I have just has more tools that are more, makes the read a lot more beginner friendly. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's been really cool seeing this book and reading this and figuring out the different women of the Bible that have used prayer to change their life. Being able to go to my Bible to find it and kind of like make notes of what I've been reading in here and then also put it in my Bible. It's been really nice. So, I really recommend this book so far. Even though I'm only on chapter 4. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get going. It is... I have like an hour before I have to be at work, but it takes me a little bit to get there. So, I like to leave and have plenty of time. I'm going to listen to my favorite podcast while I'm on my way. So I will talk to y'all a little bit later. Yeah. Know what's going on with my eyes maybe because I've been looking at a computer all day at work and at school honestly I was on my computer in class this morning on my computer at work all day and then I was just on my computer doing like my work and stuff my eyes are so like it's it's hard for me to focus my eyes on something like everything is blurry so, even like when I have my phone like this close to my face, I still feel like I cannot see, you know? Leaving the library now, um, that guy that I was telling y'all about in my last vlog was here today. But he didn't come talk to me because there was like a lady sitting very close to me. And I feel like he probably didn't want to like disturb her, maybe. Good morning, y'all. So it is Saturday morning. Just got done filming a lock video. It's a micro locks morning routine that's gonna go up tomorrow. And I'm feeling good. The video is almost done saving. And I did all this before 10 o'clock in the morning. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Well, actually, is it? I don't know. But all I know is it's not even 12 p.m. It's still morning time and I have been super productive this morning. I went for a walk this morning, came back, did my makeup, filmed my video, edited my video. So now that's going up. I finished my thumbnail. So that's all good. Um, what I'm going to do today though is, I'm okay, let's just have like a little faith talk. I'm going to clean 
my mess over here, my makeup and stuff, while I talk to y'all. But, um, basically, last week at service, we were talking about how it's important to use the day that God gave us to rest, strictly for rest and spending time with Him, instead of working. So, one thing that I have not been doing a good job of is doing that. So, normally on Sundays, I find myself catching up on things that I didn't get to do on Friday night or Saturday. So, I'm trying to like rework my brain to really get stuff done on Saturday so that on Sunday, I can truly go to church, relax from time with my friends, my family, whoever, and just... Take the day to appreciate resting and to really put resting as the forefront of my mind instead of having to hurry up and play catch up doing my homework and all this other stuff. So today is Saturday. I woke up really early this morning. I even planned out what I was going to do today, which was film my video. Check. I already did that. And then I also wanted to... Uh, go get my pedicure because I did get my nails done earlier last week and I don't really like them that's why I wasn't like trying to show y'all like that because this is just like not really my style it's like short square which is not really what I wanted I showed the lady the picture she completely flopped did not do what I wanted but the good thing is this kind man in the nail shop paid for my nails for me out of nowhere so I appreciate him for doing that because I don't like it already so I would have been even more upset if I had to pay for it and I don't like it so he paid for them which is really nice so I'm going to go get my feet done today. And then another thing that I wanted to do today is get some of my homework done. Last night I did a lot of my homework. Did not record on I didn't record yesterday. I just kind of took a break from vlogging. And then what else I want to do today? I'm going to get together a grocery list. Just a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'm going to film everything, but I'm just letting y'all know that today is Saturday. Today I'm getting things done so that tomorrow I can relax. That's basically it. <laughs> Two different stores today. 
I'm gonna have to go to Whole Foods, which will most likely have the oyster mushrooms, and then I'm gonna go to H E B to get like all of my regular stuff. So yeah, that's the plan right now. It feels really nice knocking everything off of my to-do list today. Alright y'all, so I just left Whole Foods. Um, they didn't have the mushrooms that I was looking for. I needed oyster mushrooms. They did have blue oyster mushrooms, but I'm not sure if that's natural. So, and they also looked really disgusting. So I just got these and said these are royal trumpet mushrooms i got these because i've had these before and i like them i like the shape of this mushroom like i can i feel like i can make it look like um like a sausage like when you cut sausages up horizontally you know what i mean anyway hard to explain but i know what i'm saying in my mind now that i got my mushrooms for my stew i'm gonna go ahead and head over to heb and just get the rest of the groceries that I need and I'm gonna go home. Alright y'all, so the other day I went and bought this paint from Sherman Williams. It's just in extra white. Wait, where does it say the name? Oh, right here. Extra white satin paint. I just wanted to cover up the, uh, like the wood filler stains on this part in the door. So I just did like one single coat of the extra white paint i'm just gonna sit on it for a few days i'm gonna go back and pick out another color of white to go for the actual wall in the bathroom i'm thinking that i want like an eggshell or something like that but the only problem is i feel like the eggshell white will be like more of a warmer tone and this extra white i'm getting more of a cool tone type of feel and i'm not sure if that's what i want because as you can see I have gold as like my accent on my uh, vanity and, and also along the shower and then also like my shower head and everything is gold. And then I just recently went out and bought these little things so that I can have like a little pop of gold up here too on the shower curtain. But this right here is kind of like a cool tone. So this is it in natural daylight. I got the window open and then with the light on. Am I just tripping or is this kind of like a blue tint? Like it's cool toned. 
let me know what you think in the comments because I'm thinking about going back to get a different shade of white. It's actually called Pure White. So I might just have to order that because when I was there the other day they didn't have Pure White. So he just gave me this one. He said it was very similar. But I'm thinking that this is a little bit um, cool toned. So yeah, I'm not going to finish painting it. Just wanted to do the single coat, sit on it for a few days. And then I'm going to go out maybe in the next couple of weeks to pick out the paint to go actually all over the entire bathroom. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this weekly vlog. I'll see y'all in my next one. And I'm out.